Hi, Gary Korb here from CigarAdvisor.com, and I am going to be talking to Nestor Placencia for a very special Master Blenders program, which we are taping here at Leaf Cigar Bar in Easton, Pennsylvania. So, Nestor, welcome. Thank it's you very much. Good to see much. you again. It's my it's pleasure to, to be you. here, man. It's and, my pleasure. Uh, good. You know, um, you had a hit record, basically, with the Placencia, Placencia Almafuerte, which I think you're smoking. Oh, yeah. And um, oh, yeah. I'm smoking the uh, Placencia Cosecha 146. Now, what Nestor just explained to me is um, Cosecha Privada. That means private crop, right? So Cosecha means crop, and this is the 146th crop that they've grown. We start growing tobacco in 1865. Good. You look good. I'm um, looking good for the age, you know, <laughs> the cigars. So I recommend uh, <laughs> enjoying cigars. Right, so 1865. So that 146, 146 crops crop after, after 1865 is the crop of 146. Wow. This year we started to grow in the crop 153. 153 crop of the family. So wow. we've been in this industry for many, many years. Absolutely. And we're blessed, you know, we're blessed. And you've made a lot of cigars for Famous Smoke Shop. We make a lot that. of cigars for Famous Smoke Shop. Uh, and we're very proud to have this collaboration for many years. Yeah. And yeah. this is uh, just the beginning. Yeah, it's, yeah. It is just the beginning. It's like, it's like um, because the uh, Alma Fuerte really has been such a success. It's like you're starting a whole new chapter. Yes. Yes. In, uh, in Placencia uh, uh, career. In the I, company, we're very excited. The emotion, the excitement that we have, telling the story of the family, telling the story of my dad, of my grandfather. Uh, it's amazing. You know, all my brothers are involved. Mm -hmm. uh, so the fifth generation is involved in, the, in this uh, uh, new charter of the family. So our goal is to people know what Placencia is all about. Mm -hmm and they're gonna give us two, hour, two hours of their precious time. We took it very seri seriously, so we want the best product possible. So we put a lot of, a lot of heart and soul, like Alma Fuerte, strong soul, in everything mm -hmm. that we do. Yeah, well, I had the Alma Fuerte, and I gotta tell you, I really loved it. Thank and you And I know very it's much. not a cheap cigar. It's not, it's not. But I think uh, we'll have to enjoy life. We have to, we have to mm -hmm. enjoy with the great things. Yeah. You know, we put a lot of time with 10-year-old tobacco, mm -hmm. growing, at the, we grow 100% of the tobacco, and all the placenta lines we grow it ourselves. Right. So we know exactly which kind of soil we grow with, the, the microclimate where we have. Mm -hmm. I'm so blessed, Gary, mm -hmm. that I witnessed this tobacco, this tobacco plant to be planted on the field. I witnessed when the, when the leaves were harvested. I was there. <laughs> I witnessed when the tobacco was in the curing barn, when the tobacco was in the fermentation process, when the cigars were made. Oh my God, I was a witness of all these steps. And now I'm talking to you here in the beautiful Pennsylvania. It's like having you know? a baby. It's like <laughs> having a baby. You were part of all the process. Mm -hmm. Tobacco the fermentation, the aging, you know, you see how the tobacco involves with time, right. blending. Oh my God. So I'm so blessed, guys, that I, I don't have words to describe it. That's great. Now, I know that you love growing tobacco, and many years ago, you started this growing Connecticut shade mm -hmm. in Nicaragua. Mm -hmm. How's that been going? Let's, let's give us an update. Very, on that. very good, very good. Uh, we've been learning Connecticut. It was a seed that we have to learn a lot mm -hmm. uh, because it's very thin leaves. It's very susceptible to disease. Right. So you know the busy, the, the the first years, you know, it wasn't that good. We were mm -hmm. learning a lot of disease: blue mold, black shank. So we did. You know, we have to start develop our seed for our regions. You know, so develop. We can we can have uh, genetics to resist in the blue mold and the black shank, which are the two main issues in the growing. So we start, uh, we bring in our genetics from Cuba that help us to, you know, to oh. select the leaves and that, the huh. plants. And nowadays it's coming so good. And we're growing in Caragua and we're growing in Honduras. So there's uh, the two, the two regions are doing very well. Yeah. The colors, you know, Connecticut, you need to have this blonde color. So mm -hmm. there's a lot of work to be doing the curing barn. 
mm -hmm. taking care of the humidity, taking care of the temperature, taking care of the air movement, so mm -hmm. you can move the color from greenish, lighter, you know, to the blonde, beautiful yeah. Connecticut shade. It, it, it's, it's an amazing process, it really is. It is, it um, is. Now, now you talked about your brothers. Now, sometimes I see a picture of you on social media, and you'll uh -huh. be with these two other guys. Yes. These two jokers. Yes, sir. <laughs> what, what are their names and what do they do? Gustavo is my older brother. Okay. Uh, he helped us with the accounting and the finance and stuff like that. So he's okay. taking, uh, seeing the numbers. Mm -hmm. uh, Jose Luis, is my younger brother. Mm -hmm. So he's in charge of the distribution company for Placenza Cigar, Placenza 1865 is the name of our company here in the okay. United States. So he's, uh, he's uh, he, the head of that company. And, uh, and I'm the farmer and I'm the manufacturer with, together with my dad. So we're still, on the, we're still on the farms and we're still in the factories, you know, that's what I love to do. And how's your dad doing? My dad is doing amazing. I'm still learning from him every day. I'm blessed mm -hmm. to have him involved, involved to listen to his wisdom every mm -hmm. day uh, and, uh, and learn from him, you know. So we have a very great family yeah. and everybody's involved. That's great. You know, yeah. I, I interviewed Liana Fuente a couple months ago. Uh -huh. It's the same thing. It is. It's all about the family. It's all about yeah. the family. It's all about what your family have achieved. The other day we were talking with my dad mm -hmm. and, and we're talking, you know, from 1865, yeah. tobacco, this beautiful, amazing plant has put food on the Placencia table right. for 154 years. Wow. Imagine the respect that we have for the lead. Wow. So it is a, it's a great thing. And now that we can able to grow the tobacco and make the cigars, mm -hmm. because we want the people enjoyment, we want the people have the best that they can. So we're doing, we put on our soul in everything that we're doing. I know, it's great. Uh, by the way, I've never smoked this before and I'm really enjoying it. Thank you I, very I mean much. That. It's really good. I had the, um, like I, I was telling you before we got started, I had the uh, Del Campo, mm -hmm. De Campo. Arma Del Campo. And um, that, that, was, that was not as sweet as the Alma Fuerte, mm -hmm. but it was, it was up there. Yeah, we, every cigar we want to have their own characteristics. Mm -hmm. Alma Fuerte and Alma Del Campo, they're 100% Nicaraguan puros. Cosecha 146 is a blend between Honduras tobacco and Nicaraguan tobacco because we do have farming and factories sure. in Honduras as well. So we want to give a match to Honduras. So every, everybody, and now we're working, we're coming with a new product for the IPCPR. Right. So we're very excited to okay. that also. <laughs> I can't wait. Um, let's talk about hybridization a little okay. bit. Because you do a lot of that. Can you tell us a little bit about the process of hybridization? Where do you, you start for with sure, the seed? For sure, for sure. Right? You have, for example, you want, you want, uh, you have two, two seeds that you like, you know, two, right. two beautiful tobacco varieties that you like. Mm -hmm. But they might have an issue with uh, blue mold or black shank. Okay. So you find a, another variety that has resistant genes to, the, to those uh, disease. Okay. So you have this seed that you want, that you like, but it's very susceptible. So you cross breast. Okay. The two of them. How do they do that? How do you do that? Though? You put, you have the flower, you yeah. know, and the flower has the, the female and the male and the okay. male, or, uh, how do you say it, the organ? Stamen and the Stamen. Whatever. <laughs> so you take, you took, you took the, the male out of this and bring the male from the other variety that you want and you by hand, you pollinize this variety. Oh and then you have a new, the seeds is going to be as a new, we call it F1. Okay. Uh, generation one. Okay. And then you have combination with the two with the two varieties, mm -hmm. and then you you can do you start to uh, the same that seed you start to pollinize within themselves and start to see which characteristics you want for 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 what you're looking for. It's a process that can take you ten years, twenty years, and then mm -hmm. the last test is the taste. Maybe you have the the resistant to the diseases. Right. But, but it's got to taste good. But doesn't taste right. good. So you have to start all over again. <laughs> it's a long process, but it's a beautiful process. Yeah. It's an amazing process. Now is this how you did the Connecticut or is that we did the Connecticut, yeah. Okay. And how we do it and how we did it with Havano, what we do, you know, we want to adapt the Havano seed from our own conditions. For example, the altitude that we grow in the tobacco. We're growing tobacco in Philly 
a hundred meters above sea level, for example. Okay. Uh, Jalapa is about 600 meters above sea level. So everything, the humidity that we have, the colors that the humidity can give you in the cute environment, there's a lot of factors. My father called it the, the little big details. <laughs> it's little at the, at the beginning, but it's big if you don't take it, if you don't put attention to that. And the fact that we're farmers, you know, that we know the soil, that we know sure. the weather, that we know the conditions, it's, it's what is what gives us a tremendous advantage. We think because uh, it's impossible to make great cigars without great tobacco. Okay, so I'm a customer. I come to you. I have a cigar store or distribution center. I say, I want you to make us a cigar. So I guess we start with, now it's not for you. Uh -huh. You blend for yourself. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Now you got to blend for me. Of course. So I tell you, what I, I come in and I say, this is kind of what I'm looking for. Mm -hmm. Uh, maybe I want this kind of wrapper, but, but that could change based on... Yep. So, so can you walk me through the process a little bit? Of course. Okay. I want to pick your brain, you know, everything that you look in a cigar. You know, you look sweetness, you look strength. What kind of strength you're looking for? You're looking for a mild cigar, a medium right. cigar, medium plus, a full, fl full strength cigar. Mm -hmm. So depends on your, on, on your uh, input, we start to blend it. Okay. You want a Nicaraguan puro, you want a blend. You want something that have uh, different origins. You want Dominican, Nicaraguan, uh, right. Honduran. Mm -hmm. uh, you want Cameroon wrapper. What do you want? Mm -hmm. So we have all the tobaccos available in our library, and right. we start. We try try and error. Okay. I give you this blend uh, because of your of your input on that. Mm -hmm. Then you like it, and then you start. You you're gonna tell me. I like this, but I want a little bit sweeter, mm -hmm. or I like a little bit uh, creaminess. Right. So it depends with the knowledge that we have and our team has. In every in every region's tobacco, so we start tweaking and try and error. We give right. it to you, mm -hmm. then we put it to age. Then after the age, we give it again to you. You know, and you start. It is a, it's going to be a, a combination. It's going to be a teamwork. Right. Your input with our knowledge with the, with the tobacco, and then until you're a hundred percent satisfied, you know, we develop the brand. Okay, and that takes what about a year? Maybe. That takes about yeah. a year. Yeah. But the other thing I didn't tell you is I only want to sell it for two dollars. Oh, okay, okay. <laughs> no, <I'm kidding. laughs> so now we can do something also. We can help you with that. Um, let me ask you a question about um, you know the FDA is trying to eat the business yes. basically, but the cigar production is going up. Yes, I'm seeing more of these like boutique companies. Yes, how do you account for that? I mean. You know, um, Sales uh, are good. I, I'm a truly believer that we make people's lives better with cigars. Okay. Um, uh, I was talking with consumers the other day and they told me that every time I go out of work, I stop by a cigar lounge, I light up a cigar, I take my stress out, I decompress, I right. meditate, I talk, I meet new people, and then I go home without the stress. So I love my wife, I love my kids, <laughs> so we're saving marriage. The other day was a father, a grandfather, and a son together uh -huh. enjoying cigars. So I think more people are realize what cigars can add into their life. Right. And I'm a truly believer, you know, no matter what legislation, no matter what happened, we we'll always have this industry because we're giving a lot of great things to the people. Okay. And I, you know, it's a big responsibility for us to, to have the best product possible to have that kind of, imagine imagine that importance. People are gonna give us two hours of their precious time. T time is their more valuable asset, you know? There's 24 hours for everybody. That's right. If you're gonna give the two hours of those 24 hours, that's a big commitment. So we have to do it the best that we can. And, and, and there is a lot of great cigars in the market, you know? Mm -hmm. I respect all the people in the industry that are doing the, they're doing their best. Because it's, uh, it's the best time for the cigar smokers right now. I'm telling you, it must be because in spite of all of the um, regulation and everything, people are buying more cigars. And there's not really, I mean, let's be realistic, there are not a lot of cigar smokers in the world. No, no, it's, right? not, it's, not, a, it's, it's a, not huge, but I think little by little people are realizing, you know, mm -hmm. you have people in their 30s, you know, they started and they never thought about cigars and now they try it. Oh, man, I hook. I love that because everything you, you pair in, you know, when you like good food, when you like good rum with scotch, you know, you start to figure right. out all the stuff. So I think I think it's amazing, you know, and I think when more people find out, you know, there's gonna be and I think the benefits are way more than the than the you have to do everything with moderation, you know, maybe ten cigars a day is not good. Yeah. But I would two cigars or two cigars a week 
or maybe two cigars a, a month. You know, that doesn't matter. It does, it's what you like, what you're in a mood to. Sure. Um, what I also want to talk about is a, a special project that you're involved with, which actually surprised me because you're doing something with David off. Yes. And I thought David off was like, you know, okay, you know, we're David off. We do our own thing. So how did how did you get involved with that? How, tell us about that. It's a it's a beautiful beautiful story. You know that we were we were uh, talking to David of the Geneva team in New York, <coughs> having a drink, having a cigar. Yeah. <coughs> we have our brand over there. The brand is doing amazing. So what kind of events we're doing? It? And then the conversation. Why we, why we don't do a, a collaboration between them? Because between. The love of Geneva of 1911, they start, you know? Okay. So they, they known for the best customer sure. service. They know for mm -hmm. treating the people good to the selection of the cigars. Yeah. We've known for the quality of tobacco that we go, and the quality of the cigars that we're doing. Uh -huh. So let's do something together. And that came, you know, we sent some, they, they, they tell us what the profile that, that you explain on the new blend. Mm -hmm. But it, we said it's gonna be, it's gonna be a Placencia line, especially okay. for David off of oh, Geneva. Okay. So it's a Placencia for David off of Geneva. Right. And uh, yesterday we did the big lounge at a Brookfield place. Yeah. That was amazing, man. People yeah. love the cigar. Right. Uh, uh, talking about the stories, about how they find out about the cigars <laughs> and everything. We're very happy, very, very, very uh, blessed for the collaboration. It was a very, a very good success. That's and, really and, uh, and uh, very happy, you know, for the two, two uh, history of these two brands merged together right. and have an amazing product. Can you tell us a little bit about that blend? Like, you know, it is a blend, 100% Nicaragua also. Okay, wow. Yeah, it is. Uh, we did an uh, 6x52 Velicoso. Okay, because I really like the David off Nicaragua line. Yeah, so that we supplied a lot of that tobacco. You did? Yes, sir, uh, for uh, them. Uh, you so see? we have, a, we have a, a long collaboration with them. All right, so I'm looking forward to that one. You know what I really want to talk about? And it's something that we don't normally discuss when we do these interviews. You know, you live in Nicaragua, mm -hmm. you, you work you work on, in Honduras as well. Yes. You're kind of like, yes. like a dual citizen, right? In yes, way. sir. Yes, sir. Tell us about what's life like for the average Nicaraguan person? Like, what, what's, what's, it, what's it like there? You know, I'm, I'm blessed to was born in Nicaragua. Mm -hmm. to we're born in Nicaragua. Okay. In SLE, actually in SLE. Mm -hmm. My father is Cuban, my mother is Nicaragua, so I was right. born in Nicaragua. Uh, I'm so happy to live there and so happy that with my work and with my teamwork we can be in all places in the world put our name on my country I that we produce the best tobacco in the world you know that we produce the best cigars in the world right and me as a Nicaraguan it's a great I love to live in Nicaragua I love to live in Esteli my wife lives in Esteli my kids go to school in Esteli it's a great place you know there's no traffic jam I go to the farm. I ride horses on the farm. Oh, that's right. Yeah. I love that uh, Arthur were there and that <laughs> we put all, your, the all, all the famous team and horses last time. So it's a, it's a it's a very tranquil uh, lifestyle. You know, very happy people, very friendly people, uh, collaboration people. You know, mm -hmm. the people that work with us on the farm, the people that work with us on the farm, they're very humble and very open, you know, very friendly. The same way in Mali, Honduras, you know, I was raised in Honduras because of the, the revolution, so right. we have my heart in Honduras also, yeah. so the same thing, you know. People good, people happy. Really? You go to our factories and you see the people smiling, you know. Uh -huh. That's nice. With all the struggles, you know, we have struggles. Yeah, I know. Economic <laughs> problems, uh, political problems, mm -hmm. stuff like that. But I see the optimistic and the people. and and. We take our job so seriously mm -hmm. that how we can secure their job for the people. We have daycare center for the son because we want yeah. the best education for their sons. Right. We want the best education for our people because education is the best thing that you can give to mm -hmm. the people. You have to give back to the to the communities where given so much to you and the people that have given so much to you. So it's, it, you have to give back to them. That's very important for us. Yeah, because. Um, but I love to live there, man. I, I love to live there. I love to do. come here eventually once in a while, but my heart is over there. Really? Let me ask you a question about the um, the government. Now, it's it's a socialist government, communist government? What, what, it is. Ortega's still the president? Ortega's still the president. Right, so the president. You know, there's a lot of political issues. Mm -hmm. We want the best. We want the dialogue be we be good, you know. Mm -hmm. We're not getting any political. Uh, we, try, we try to help the people with, with the 
better job that we can give to right, So does he recognize you, or has he ever tried to, or has he ever threatened to nationalize the tobacco no, industry? No, 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 they, they understand, and every government understands the importance of this industry. Northern Nicaragua depends 80% for, for the premium cigar industry. Really? So there's a lot of people that depend their life in this industry. So he understands he that, understand and that, he leaves yeah. you guys alone. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Because you're doing something good. We give it, you know, we right. give the jobs to the people. These people right. are not 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 robbing you because they have jobs. Right. So 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 we have to do a great job, and all the people are doing a great job. Mm -hmm. So in all this legislation, you know, it's more more issues for these people. They have a de decent job, a stable job, and they stay there. You know, they they don't want to move. They don't want to leave their country because they have jobs. Right. Now, do, do Nicaraguan cigar smokers, and for that matter, Hondurans, do they smoke differently than, say, Americans? Do they like a certain size? Do they, you know? No, it's more or less the same. You know, the market within those countries is very little. So most, most of the production really? is going outside. So, so, but they like that enough. That, for example, the Placencia line is being very well accepted in those countries. Oh, sure. Yeah. <laughs> it's a homegrown brand. Yeah, 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 for sure. So, all right. Well, anyway, I, I wanted to talk about that because a lot of people don't know. It's you know, beautiful, and you know, if you have the chance to visit cigar farms, cigar factories, you know, I, I, I really encourage them yeah. to see it. So you see I the agree. you see the atmosphere, you see the the energy that is there. Yeah, and uh, we call our factory the Catedral del Tabaco. Yeah, in Esteli, we know it's a beautiful factory. If you have the chance, it would be our pleasure to 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 show you around. All right. Well, one last question: What's on the horizon? For Placencia, besides uh, the David Ops new, yes. Can you tell us anything about what's coming? We have down a road? new a new line coming. It's called Placencia Alma del Fuego, that is coming oh. for the IPCPR. Uh, amazing, amazing flavor. Another 100% Nicaragua. Uh, and we've been in this industry for five generations, 154 mm -hmm. years. But the best thing is that we feel that this is, this is just the beginning. Mm -hmm. We have the energy, you know. We have to to, to still grow and you know to still. Uh, contribute, you know, to right. still be in this amazing industry because it's it's a beautiful industry, you know. So yeah. there's a lot of things to come for the Placencia family in this beautiful. All right, industry. well, we'll look forward to it. By the way, this is uh, really good. Thank you very it's, it's, much. It's very consistent. It's very smooth. It's very creamy. That's another thing I found with these. They're all very balanced. Thank you. And you can tell it's good quality tobacco. I well, mean, we I'm, put the Placencia name on that. Have to be great. I guess it have does. To be great. That's true. So anyway, thank you guys, Nestor, thank you for coming Gary, today. Thank you very much. I man. really appreciate it. I really it, appreciated uh, your time. All right, and don't forget to check us out at CigarAdvisor.com. Get your Placencia cigars at Famous-Smoke.com. I'm Gary Corp for CigarAdvisor.com, and happy smokes.